Hey, hey, it's a Ken's Talk Sprap Request from BJ. Ken's Talk is huge in Mongolia. You can't pronounce that name. Nobody can pronounce the name. That's why he goes by BJ. He's got a question for me. He's got a Sprap question he wants to know. Set up an accounts payable list that flashes red when a bill or an invoice is due. Oh, yes. We have many problems to solve with this. Accounts payable. Payments that you're making as a company a lot of times, right? So this is going to be your accounts payable, your big ledger here. What we can do is we can start making a list of everything you're going to need here. And do something called freeze panes, which freezes the screen at a certain spot. It's up there under view freeze panes. And let's say we have an invoice date, right? We have, let's wrap text here by the way, going up to home and wrap text. Let's get some nice colors going here. Do something like this, maybe in blue. Blue with white font. Sure, why not? Alright, so we're going to have an invoice date. And we're going to format those cells as dates. Let's say that we have an invoice that was sent on 430. That's April 30th. And that invoice is going to have a description. Invoice description. Right. And your invoice description could be, I don't know, electric bill. Maybe you run a business, you have electric bill. Maybe another one you have is a water bill. Do a couple of these, right? Say this one was sent to you on 5 3. These invoices are going to have a due date. And a lot of times it's 30 days after the invoice date, so let's say this thing's due at 530. And this thing here is due 6-2 or something like that. Now, uh, what BJ's asking is how do you know when these invoices are due? I want them to flash red when they're coming due. Well, there's a couple different ways to do this. And one thing that I like to do is I like to set up something that says days until due date. And that's a formula. And what that formula does is it calculates the number of days until something is due. So you need two bits of information. And this is where Excel is really cool. Excel can tell you what day today is if your Excel is connected to a computer that has the right date set up in the internet. And you can simply write in a formula that says, not that, it says equal sign, right? We're starting with an equal sign. And we say today, G-O-D-A-Y. And then you have to put beginning parentheses and parentheses for some reason. And when you type in today, beginning parenthesis, yeah, there you go, it shows you what today is. And I'm recording this on 5-14-2011. Now, that shows us what today is. But what we really want to know is we want to know how many days until the due date. So we can go back into our formula in here. Let's dive in. And instead of just equal sign today, I'm going to go where the equal sign is, and I'm going to click on the due date. Boop. And I'm going to put a little minus sign, and now we have the day we're talking about, which is May 30th, that's the due date, minus today, and it's going to give you a funky weird number. Don't get scared by that. That's just a number formatted as a date. Now I've just formatted it as a number, and there's 16 days between May 30th and today. And the beautiful thing about this is if you pull this formula down by taking the mouse and getting it to turn into that little black plus sign right there, pull the formula down, these obviously are here because there are no dates, but yeah, just these two. Look, 16 days, 19 days. Cool. That's how many days we have. So how do we make this even better? We want to put colors and conditional formatting on here. Well, let's change this due date to look at that one day, right? If it was due on the 15th, we'd have one day. Well, here's how conditional formatting works. You go into one of these cells where we're going to write a formula that's related to what's going on in here. And you go up to conditional formatting. I'll tell you what we're going to do in a second. But let's say we want this thing to be different colors based on the number of days until things are due. And um, let's say that if it's less than, plus if it's one day due, it's going to go red. Sure, why not, right? So go up to conditional formatting here on the home menu. And we are going to, we've got a couple different options here. We could, we could write a rule or we could do, let's go to new rule. 
click on new rule, you have many different, many, you can do anything you want really. But for the, the, this will be the easiest way to do it. You could say if this cell, we'll say cell value is between, I did this by clicking on format, only cells I contain, and then I've got an option of doing different things based on what the cell value is. The cell value is one here, right? So we could say if, if it's between zero and two, then you go into this format, Bar and you can change colors of things. Let's make the fill red. And if we make the fill red, let's make the font here. Let's make it white. The color will be white. So we've got a red fill, white. and you can see this shows you what you're preparing it to look like if this formula is true, meaning zero between zero and two, and it is. So that should go red once we press apply, and it did. So. That's great. Now this thing's going to go red if it's anywhere between zero and two days, based on that little conditional formatting we did. Now you're going to need to apply this to everything in column D there, because what happens? You know, say we had another bill that was came in on the ninth or whatever, and it's uh, I don't know, it's my child support. I'm not, I'm not getting divorced. I'm just kidding. But if I were, that would be due right away, right? So that would be due on the sixteenth, right? And if we pull our formula down. I'm not going to pull one with the conditional formatting because I want to show you what happens. There's nothing here. It's not red, right? Uh, it's not really between zero and two. But the way to apply this formula that we've written, which only applies to this one cell in red, is to click on it, go to conditional formatting, go to manage rules, and here's this rule that we wrote. This is talking about you know between zero and two be red. It only applies to cell C4. That's what that says right now. And that's or sorry D4, D4, which is right here. If we wanted to apply to everything in column D, we click on this little, it's like a picture thing, it allows you to to talk about the area you want this rule, this conditional formatting rule that we've written to apply to. And I just click on the D, although that's not highlighting just the D because I have some merged cells, but you could just highlight in the area, say, you know, anything here. There, I just, I just highlighted that chunk of area. And you hit, click this back, and you press apply, and these are all zeros. So that's why they're showing as red, um, even though they don't have any dates next to them. We could change the formula around a little bit. This formula where we're talking about this date minus today, showing us the number of days. We could add a little stipulation in this formula that says if there's no date here, then you need to be blank. You don't need to do a calculation and come up with zero. Today, this minus today is somehow coming up to zero. Actually, no, it's because I highlighted. Never mind. Just, just because I, I applied that conditional formatting here, you can change where you apply the conditional formatting. We go to manage rules. It's showing where it's applying. Click on that. We only want it to apply to these three right now. And then press apply, and this red blue are going to go away now. Anyway, you're going to get the picture. If you wanted to change this to, I mean, you could do other conditional formattings. You could say that if if it contains, if, you know, if it's like between two and five, be pink or something like that, right? So, cells that contain a new rule, if it's between two and five, your format could be filled in a, a lighter red, right? There's pink right there. And okay, and you can see that now this two has become pink instead of red. And the reason that the two is pink and not Red is that now there's a hierarchy of formulas. There's a hierarchy of conditional formatting formulas, meaning one takes precedence over the other one. And um, the way that works is it's saying if this number two is between zero and two, be red, which it is, and then the next one is if if the number is between two and five, be pink, and that's the last one it sticks with. That's why it makes it pink. So if you go to manage rules here, you can see the two rules are stacked on top of each other, and Stop if true. It's interesting. According to this, it looks like it should be red. Or no, I guess that's the first one. So this is the hierarchy of the way it works. This is the first one that meets that criteria. By the way, I noticed with this pink, we need to apply this to this area and apply. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And this all could happen if you change your due dates. If this thing isn't due until 6-7, my child support. You can see that date's going to change and it's no longer red.
so that pretty much answers your question. So yeah, I've built out some uh, invoicing templates that are much bigger than this, this that have many different columns about invoice descriptions and quantities and prices and all these other kind of things. But that's the basics with conditional formatting and of course you could, you could always sort this stuff or put filters on here by going to data filter and then you can always sort by fewest days remaining until the bill's paid till greatest or the other way around. Greatest to smallest, anything you want. And then you can have a little paid section over here too. So when you when you say is the invoice paid, you can have an option of yes or no, 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 yes, maybe when you pay this one, and then you can have a little pivot table, because we haven't even done the invoice amount yet. There's so many different things you can do here. But that's I think you just want a conditional formatting lesson. I won't get into the rest of that stuff later. So there you go. This is your accounts payable. How do you get something to show as red when it's coming due? Colors are a great thing to use. They make your life easier when you're looking at a spreadsheet because you know something's coming up due. I just have to see the red. I don't have to do the math in my head. Look for the red. Don't do the math in your head. Look for the green and your... <laughs> I can't think of a word that rhymes with green. That makes sense there, but it's about... I usually use green as my approval color. Green lights, you speed through, and green on the spreadsheet means something is completed and matching and usually ready to go. So red is bad, green is good. So there you go, BJ. And anybody else who uh, wants to know how to make their sheets a little more colorful, formulas, so they know what they're talking about. There's your account. Accounts payable beginning sprap from Ken Stock.